There is a question. Uh, last year at CppCon, we heard about CPP2 uh, last keynote by Herb Sutter, and he has since then continued the work on that. Uh, what can you say about this? Uh, not a lot. I can say a little bit about it. We seem to be going through a phase where um, people are looking for almost a successor to C++. Uh, and there are different ways in which people have um, phrased this. And I think that Bjarne said many, many years ago that inside C++ there was a small language trying to get out. Um, people have variously at different times talked about subsetting. But there's this idea that um, C++ is, you know, top five most popular languages. But it's not easy. And each successive standard does not make it easier. Although there's there's a lot, you know, the, the, the people and the, the folks who participate in the committee often have very different agendas. There's certainly a willing desire to try and make things easier for people. But the normal thing is that it's trying to make it easier by adding things. And actually, you make things easier by removing things as well. Um, otherwise, you just have more to um, learn. And people have become much more fascinated by the idea, and perhaps because we live in an era of many languages, there are uh, there's an exploding number of languages, by the idea of, can I have C++ that kind of gives me the power of it, but perhaps not all the historical baggage? You know, sometimes the, the gotchas, the surprises um, come about from history. And we also have increasing concerns about safety. Um, and C++ is uh, although in many ways safer than C, there are constructs that are as equally available um, that are unsafe and safe. Um, if you are a if you are a new developer to this, this can be overwhelming. The amount of stuff that you need to know and that you need to not do and the things that you need to do can be overwhelming. So I think a lot of people are looking and saying, well, can I have all of the stuff, the low level access, the ability to do almost anything that I want, but not necessarily with the language as it stands. And, you know, we're seeing CPP, things like CPP2, Carbon, and there are other things going on, as well as uh, in a very different track, the rise of Rust um, as being native languages with a focus on efficiency, but also saying maybe we don't need all of the other things that came with C, uh, with C that have come with C++. Because at this point in time, um, C++ is heading towards... Um, it's heading towards its 50th birthday. Um, I mean, it's it, strictly speaking, it's heading towards its 45th birthday will come first. I think that's next year. I think Bjarne said it's 1978, 79 is when he created the progenitor of what became that. So, um, but we're not far off half a century. And a language picks up a lot of stuff in that time. And I think sometimes people say, well, could we have something else? And this notion that C++ is being, in certain environments, is being deprecated um, because of safety concerns, we see the uh, we see um, studies from Microsoft and Google talking about um, memory related errors and these uh, questions of security uh, issues that come from things like buffer overruns, uh, attacks that come from those. Um, just simply, can we make things a little bit simpler whilst embracing what we've learned? So I can't give you anything specific on Herb's design. Um, I've only looked at it very briefly. I certainly haven't watched the uh, the keynote, uh, but it is one of a number of things that it's kind of I'm I'm aware of uh, that I think are moving in interesting directions and do seem to be influencing some of the things that people are talking about on the committee.